and we are here with the new member of the Lestrade team, Freddie. I'm just kidding, today's Halloween. Here in Cranford, New Jersey, and every year they do a little event that they put up into these mannequins, and people vote which one thinks is the best. And here in Cranford, you're noticing that the town is very community friendly, very orientated, and right now we're in the downtown area, right in front of the Cranford Theater. And you're gonna notice that this town has a lot of that culture. So if you wanna learn everything about what's it like living here in Cranford, stay tuned to the whole video, you're gonna learn everything about it. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. My name is Laura, this is Luca. We are your relocation experts here in Union County, New Jersey with the Lestrade team. And every Monday and Friday at 12 p.m. we're uploading a video, something to do with Union County. It could be a vlog video like this one, a map video, or educational. So if you wanna learn everything about Union County, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you're notified every single time we upload a video. We're having so many families, we're helping so many families relocate here. I'm, I'm so excited about it. We're having so many families relocate here and you have to learn everything about what's like living here. And guys, today we have a, it's a little cold, but we yeah. have a treat for you. If you guys are looking to relocate and your top priority is family, you might want to stick around for this video. So right now we are in downtown Cranford. This is basically the heart of Cranford. This is where you're going to find all your local shops, your boutiques. Um, there's no big retail names here, but you're going to find a variety of upscale dining, coffee shops, the salon, wellness centers. There's so much to do here. Cranford is centrally located in Union County. Right. It's, um, where is it surrounding? So even though Cranford doesn't have a lot of big retail names, it is surrounded by a bunch of towns. So most importantly, Elizabeth is the biggest city here in uh, Union County. It's only a, maybe an eight minute drive from here to the east. But surrounding towns would be like Kenilworth, we got um, Garwood, we got Clark, Westfield, Roselle, Roselle Park. So even though Cranford might not be that big, it's only like about five miles around, it has a lot of those essential cities and towns around uh, the area as well. And something a lot of people relocating here need is that transportation and highway system. And from here, the closest, biggest highway is the Garden State Parkway. That highway is going to get you into New York, down south, up north. It is a toll highway, but there's a lot less traffic like the 22, which that is another highway where you're going to find a lot of the retail names as well. Walmart, Target, uh, LA Fitness, pretty much Chipotle. Every everything you can imagine is going to be on that highway. And that's only about a five to 10 minute drive from Cranford. And if you're going a little bit further out, maybe you can find other highways like the 78 uh, that will also get you into New York, but it is a little bit pushing a little further out um, from Cranford. Overall, if you are a commuter that's maybe um, looking for somewhere that it's very family oriented and has like a, a very suburban feel, this would be the place. But even though it is, a, you know, very family based, it's very suburban here, um, the downtown does offer a lot of perks for commuters because we do have the train station literally what like maybe like a one minute walk literally from, from here from here so so we're gonna go up there right now show you a little bit of the train station where you can find there because we're now in the north side of downtown we're gonna go into the south side of downtown we'll get you right there right now okay now we're at the train station um you're pretty much a one minute two minute drive even the same amount of distance with uh, walking because you go under the bridge and from here to New York City, we're only about a 40 minute commute and that's during the weekdays and the rush hours. So a lot of people prefer the train and avoid all the traffic throughout the, the week. And the nice, really nice thing about this is that you have the train here across the street. You're gonna have the bus stop around here. And you're gonna notice that when you come to Cranford, you, you notice the, the buildings start getting a little different than other towns because here in Union and Cranford, yeah. Is one of the towns that's very um, big when it comes to the yeah. historical battles of uh, the revolution. So yeah, so Cranford's characterized by its um, preserved architecture. So it gives it it gives the city um, like a timeless feel. So that's what you're gonna expect here. Everything's very well maintained. I mean, um, we have the theater um, down the street, and I mean, there's a lot of AMCs. Um, all over Union County that you know residents could go to 
but I just think it's cute when there's a little theater in the downtown area. So they're playing Barbie right now, so if they're you're... playing Barbie and Taylor Swift. Right. So you know. <laughs> so you know that's that's something that's really cute about this town. So it's very small town feel. So something I wanted to point out about this location is the fact that right in front of the train station we have condo developments and it's very sweet because it is renter commuter friendly which is why a lot of people do like um, relocating to this area another thing that's cool about this um, condo development is that under the condos you'll find a lot of local shops like there's a starbucks right there which is awesome and then there's a lot of local restaurants you have a spa so with that being said Cranford is very renter commuter friendly. It's family friendly. However, if you are a young professional and you're looking for somewhere that's maybe a bigger city or has somewhat of a nightlife, this might not be the place for you. There is a lot of taverns, bar grills, um, little small bars, but nothing big. It's very, like I said, it's very suburban here, so you're not gonna find that. Luckily, we are close to New York, which is always a nightlife, and we are close to big cities that do have that nightlife, like Elizabeth, New Jersey. Elizabeth, Newark, and if you're someone that's looking like Laura said something else, we are licensed real estate agents, so our info's gonna be below. There is so many things to do here in New Jersey, and there's so many different towns. You go one town away, things change drastically, so make sure to give us a call. But right now, we're gonna go to our next stop, which is the main park here in cranford and we're going to kind of describe that area a little better because things change drastically from the downtown area to over there and we're going to talk about that area and kind of explain all the neighborhoods throughout cranford as well so right now we are in nomahegan park which is the biggest park in cranford and also this is considered the nomahegan um, neighborhood in cranford and we are about a five to seven minute drive from downtown which is where we were previously and what you're gonna find in this area is that it's predominantly suburban and very well maintained what you're gonna find here is mostly single family homes tree-lined streets very very safe which is overall the characteristic of cranford and to kind of give you an idea where we are located we are all the way north of cranford literally bordering kenilworth some part of the park go into Cranford as well but what i want to specify is if you're someone that's not really looking to have the easy access to new york with the train and you want to start more of a family you want to get a bigger home bigger um, better school district this is going to be you don't want to be in because you're also going to be very close to 22. so all the bigger retailers are there walmart like i said before so no mohegan section in my opinion our opinion is considered the best part of cranford right you're going to get residential area residential area you're going to get all the best perks with that being said you have to take account that the real estate here is extremely expensive you're probably not going to find any properties of one family under six or seven hundred thousand and they're even pushing a million especially the new construction mm -hmm. homes that we're going to show you today um it's definitely that kind of style and it, you're paying for what you're pretty much getting at the end of the day so this is considered an a school district was it which is really good yeah it's a seven out of ten uh rated overall and it's definitely in the top 10 of union county schools so public schools great has pro, pro, um, private schools as well as that ucc um college so you have a lot of things in the town even though it's not huge you're still mm -hmm. getting a lot of the uh, town perks that comes with a great um school, school district and neighborhoods that's right all right so we like to talk about it but we're also going to show you right now we're going to stop at one of the three properties we're going to show you today we're going to show you different real estate that sold recently in different parts of cranford so you can kind of get an understanding of what buys you where and exactly this type of style you're going to be buying here so we're going to get right into it in the next clip all right let's go see what cranford has to offer okay we're at the first stop here right behind me is cranford towers which is located in 18 springfield ave which is this kind of main road here and this property is on the market for quite some time it was over 100 days but it kind of fell in the perfect time because it was still sold over 75,000 over asking price so either way is a lot of days on the market you got the right buyer and it was all cash well you're finding between the 400 and the 500 range just a bunch of condos and if you're looking for the one families you're gonna find probably Cape Cod, Cape Cod, Colonial, Split Levels but the closer you are to the 400 range you know how loud it is here at Main Road but the closer you are to the 400 range it's gonna be less renovated for the one families and once you get into the 500 um, dollar uh, range it's going to be better maintained but it's definitely not going to be renovated unlike this condo this one had two bedrooms two bathrooms it was very nicely renovated it was very big compared to a lot of condos here and it does it does sell for the 475 so it's already pushing that 500 
range. So you're just definitely seeing that when you get those kind of value in condos, it's going to be a lot better than the one family homes. I just want to point out, like he said, this is a main road. If you, but what I would consider this is between downtown and Nomahegan. So yes, it's a little busy, but once you start going right, you are going to go into the Nomahegan residence uh, neighborhood. So it's going to get more residential. Right. Now, to the left, you're going to find downtown. It's going to be maybe like a three blocks away from yeah, here. So it's very close. And then down there, you're going to find Nomahegan. What's pretty cool about this area is that it does have a canoe club, probably like a block and a half away from here. There's a lot of clubs in Cranford, which is something that it's very appealing to people that, you know, are looking for a very small town yeah. we have uh the canoe club we have club, the drama club gardening club, gardening club, club. so many bunch. clubs yeah. there's a lot to do here so just because it's a small town doesn't mean that it's you know there's nothing to do and the cool thing about this specific location yeah. is they were literally in the middle of both neighborhoods right. which is something that um a lot of people need because they're still close to the train station right they're so close to the residential the nice park yeah, yeah. the colleges so a pretty cool area to be at and right now from here we're gonna go a little more south of Cranford we're gonna touch a base on what you're gonna find there and how things change drastically from all the craziness and all the movement and traffic to a lot more residential okay now we're in stop number two at 35 Lenholm Drive this property went super fast on the market it was listed for 640 but sold for 710 so you're seeing this is very common that price properties in Cranford are going for a lot over. You see other towns are going for over, but Cranford is definitely hitting those premium prices. This property is three bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms, split level, built 1954. It's a newer model because a lot of properties here are from the 1800s even or early 1900s. And what I really wanted to touch base was that properties between the five to six, the between the five to six hundred. Um, are very much like the properties you spoke before. They're gonna be not that renovated. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be a little bit outdated, but livable. But once you get to the 600 to 700, that's when you start seeing these kind of split levels. Definitely a lot bigger. This one was very renovated. That's why it sold for a lot over. But you can see in the, in the area here, they're all pretty much split levels in this in the condo sack. So you're seeing this kind of style. Right, right. And this part is a lot further south, Cranford. And this area is known for kind of more of the like school districts and then being near right. all the public schools. Yeah, like you mentioned, we are about um, an eight minute drive from Nomahegan um, south, going south. And what you're going to see is mostly residential here, which is what characterizes Cranford right. in general. It's very residential, but that's what you're going to see here. It, you don't hear the noise like we did in the previous right. property. Super quiet, yeah. Exactly. Um, from here, we're also like a five, mi uh, five minute drive to downtown Cranford so it's very close just to give you kind of like a you know perspective of how close everything is in Cranford yeah it could change so drastically right, 100% and mm -hmm. something I definitely wanted to point out because we're right next to Clark right now which is literally right. a five to six minute drive and Clark has a huge plaza that has a Whole Foods has a gym has right. a bunch of different little restaurants like Panera Chipotle and we're right. five minutes away from there um, has a golf course as well so anybody that plays golf you know you got that right there um so i know we did mention that you know here in cranford there's really no big retail names but five minute drive you're in clark you're gonna find the whole foods everything's right there there's a target so everything's really fairly close yeah so you're seeing that cranford's small everything's very close by you have good towns around it and it's kind of a, a, a good for perk for a lot of people moving here so we are here at 11 Romer Place. This property was listed for $950, sold for $100,000 more at $1,050,000. We're in the Nomahegan part of Cranford, which is all the way up north. This property was four bedrooms, three bathrooms. And once you start getting into this kind of neighborhoods, you're going to start seeing this kind of price ranges. A million plus is very common here for a larger home, pretty much ready to move in. So to get some reference, between the $700 and $800 range in this area, you're going to get maybe a smaller house. If it's only three bedrooms, two bathrooms, or one bathroom, it's going to be a lot more renovated. But once you start pushing the 800 to 900s, you're going to start seeing these style of homes. If you want a really large property in this part of the neighborhood of Cranford, it's going to be non-renovated for that range. Because once you start getting to a million plus, that's when you start seeing the large 
colonials, custom homes. Um, those properties are going to be in the millions, but you're going to get literally the best you can get in Cranford. Guys, we are super close to No Park. This right. location it's is literally right there. That's, yeah, that's a little we park. are literally right off of No Park. We are maybe five minute drive, like we mentioned before, to downtown. Right. This is very, very close to everything. We are about like a five minute drive to the Westfield Country Club, which is the town next over. Right. So it's very, we're very close here. And like we mentioned before, this area is predominantly very suburban. Right. As you can see, there's no sidewalks. Not at all. Okay. It's very well maintained. And the features of this area is that the houses are just spectacular and big. Right. And since we're in the north part of Cranford, we are still close to Route 22. Right, we got right, the right. highway there. We're next to um, Kenilworth. And you're still getting everything like about five minutes away, but you're getting the really big properties and still being very suburban and residential. Right. Okay, before I let you guys go, we wanted to give you a quick bonus property. And it's this new construction here in Cranford, all the way down south at 28 Georgia Street. It sold for 1.35 million. And it has five bedrooms, 3.5 bathrooms, and you're noticing a lot bigger than everything else that we've seen. To give you guys context, we are back south in Cranford. Um, we are closer to Clark than we are to downtown. The downtown area is about a seven minute drive and the Clark Commons well, you're when you're going to find the Whole Foods, the Target, it's about a four minute drive. So we are right on the border with Clark and then behind these houses in front of me, we are going to find the, um, the Hyatt Golf Complex. Right. So we're very close to that area. And you see, you know, we're not too far away and mm -hmm. we still, if you, you need to train, you still have to go to Cranford um, train station because in Clark, you're not going to find one. And, but throughout Cranford, since the town is not that big, you're still going to get everything within 10 minutes away. Exactly. And if you are commuting, just know that there is possibility of parking right. um, for the train station. So it shouldn't be an issue if you're commuting. And one more thing I wanted to mention since, you know, we're here going into the fall weather and one day ago it was 67 yeah. degrees now we're down to the 40s 50s people wearing jackets so this weather changes very fast and a lot of people you know it's a quick perk because a lot of people don't even realize how quick the weather is here and we're freezing out here but yeah, so it's if, getting a lot a little the sun's helping yeah, a little bit if you're coming from the west coast just know that we have crazy weather right. we now we're wearing a jacket it's super cold so we should be expecting freezing weather soon hopefully right. not hopefully not but you know these are all things you need to know when moving to another state and quick reminder we are a licensed real estate agency in new jersey our info is going to be below whatever you need give us a call if maybe cranford wasn't for you maybe elizabeth might be for you maybe westville might be for you so make sure to give us a call because even though their towns next door to them to each other they change a lot so make sure you subscribe hit that bell again we are laura and luca and we can't wait to help you relocate boom